When I think of the craziest and most gripping content on Netflix, I would normally gravitate to mentioning shows that are either jaw-dropping and thrilling dramas like Ozark or Made or Stranger Things. But recently, I've discovered a new show that I never would have imagined I would binge. But now that I've started, I can't get enough. Cheer! The Netflix original documentary series is one of the most captivating shows on the entire streaming service. And with season two recently being released, it's time to start talking about season three and everything we know surrounding the show going forward. Stick around because you're not going to want to miss a second of this video. So, will there be a third season of Cheer? Cheer is a documentary series that revolves around the crazy world of competitive college cheerleading. And boy, is it crazier than I could have ever imagined. Season 2 has recently been released, and after binging every single episode in a matter of hours, I, along with the millions of other fans of the show, are dying to know when or if Season 3 will be coming out. Here is what we know so far. It appears as though we will in fact be getting a Season 3, even if though Netflix has yet to confirm it. We say this because the streaming giant saw record numbers for both seasons, and it would be strange of them to stop the show considering that competitive college cheerleading isn't going anywhere. So why would the show? Moreover, the second season was announced only weeks prior to its release day. So what's to say that Netflix isn't currently shooting this third season with a plan to release it either in early 2023 or late 2022? Hopefully it releases sooner rather than later. But honestly, we have no idea. Technically, as we mentioned earlier, we have no official word from Netflix that a third season is even in the works at Netflix, meaning that season two could technically be the final season of the show. But I would say that it's about as likely as me completing a triple backflip from a standing position, which is essentially zero, but technically possible because I've never actually tried it. It's sort of like a Schrodinger standing triple backflip, you know? But when we get official news that a third season will be released, who can we expect to be in it? Let's take a look now. And who will be in the third season of Cheer? If we do get a third season, will it be the same cast? from the first two seasons, or will we be mostly seeing new faces? Well, from what we know, we can confirm that the show will continue to film the Navarro Cheer Squad and their battle with their rivals at Trinity Valley Community College. And the NCA has already announced that the cheer competitions are still slated for April 6th to the 10th. And as long as there's no cancellations or delays due to the pandemic, knocks on all the wood, both teams should be well into their practice times, which means that Netflix and their cameras are most likely already following the team's journey as they prepare to compete at the championships in April. But who will be filling out the rosters of these cheer teams respectively? Well, it appears that Maddie Brum, a key member of the Navarro cheer squad, claimed that she will definitely be back to clinch a win with her squad in 2022, along with some of her teammates. Gabby Butler is one of those teammates who claimed that she would likely be back for a third season, but it's not set in stone. Butler was very unsure of her terms of her eligibility and her current life goals, so we're still unsure as to what to expect from Butler. However, she did say, technically, I do have one more year at Navarro. At a junior college, you can only do three years. 2021 was my third year, but because of COVID, they gave everyone one more year of eligibility. So yes, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my life right now, but just stay tuned. So that quote is about as clear as mud. So we may or may not get to see Butler hit the mat for the third season of Cheer. So I guess we'll find out hopefully later this year. As you've seen, some were glad to get this extra year of eligibility, but others were not so inclined to continue their journey in Cheer once the pandemic shut it down. Next, how COVID cut some dreams short. Collegiate athletes had a certain number of years of eligibility that this worldwide pandemic put to a screeching halt. So who decided to keep going and who decided to stop? Well, as we already mentioned, Gabby Butler is most likely going to continue, but it looks like her fellow Navarro teammate, Morgan Siminar, has decided that she'll not be coming back to compete on the mat. I already graduated, went back to Navarro and was doing double school so that I could be part of the cheer program. I had to open up new majors that I wasn't passionate passionate about and paying student loan after student loan. It didn't make sense to go back to Navarro after schools reopened during the pandemic just for cheer because at that point, school wasn't what I needed, Seminar said. COVID gave me the opportunity to look at the bigger picture and realize I did everything I came to Navarro to do. I was very content because I exceeded my expectations and came out with all the memories and all the craziness of the show coming out. And I ended Navarro cheer on a good note. It's encouraging to see that Seminar found a satisfying note to bow out on and feels content with her time at Navarro. But what's happening at its rival school, TVCC? Who'll be returning from that school and who'll be hanging up the uniform for the last time? Let's take a look. 
who can we expect to see return from TVCC? For fans of TVCC's Jada Wooden, you're gonna wanna sit down because it appears that she will not be returning to the mat as she stated that she's ready to hang up her uniform for good. However, if you are a fan of Devante D. Joseph, there is some great news. Joseph will be back for a third season of the show as Joseph was not ready yet to hang up the uniform for the last time. However, one thing we can look forward to is the appearance of some brand new faces. Every season we've gotten so far, we're introduced to a plethora of brand new faces, and I guarantee that the tradition of new characters being introduced would not end with season 3. And I mean the addition of new characters isn't really up to Netflix, because the show is a real documentary about a sports program at a university, which means that Netflix can't really decide who to include or exclude in the show. They are just there to shine a light on the crazy world of competitive cheerleading, which means that there is never a guarantee in terms of the cast. Although we are certain that some of the athletes will be coming back, there is still a chance that the athletes who have already agreed to come back do not end up coming back. In a show like this one that revolves around athleticism, there is always the chance of injury or lack of interest in the sport. Or as we have already mentioned, the athlete's journey in the sport may end up coming to an end because of their eligibility running out as the athletes in junior college only have three years to play sports while attending the school, which means that anyone on the show cannot be on it for longer than three seasons. Obviously, we have no idea how long the show will go on for, but honestly, it seems like as long as there is cheerleading in college and as long as Monica Dalma is ready and willing to be in charge of cheer in Texas, the show could go on forever. But I shouldn't get that far ahead of myself. Heck, we don't even know if there's going to be a season three of the show, let alone an infinite number of seasons going forward. But one can hope, right? That's all we have for you guys today on the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. What did you think of season two of Cheer? Do you think that we'll be getting a season three of the show? And if so, do you think we'll be getting more in the future? Whatever you have to say, let us know in the comment section below. As always, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like on the video and to subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss a single upload from the channel. Thank you once again, and we'll see you all in the next video.